gives a report by the World Health Organization stating that 56 degrees for 15 minutes is more than enough. So I'm returning to home at the evening and I'm putting a mask that I had in my lab into the oven. But what happens if you don't have oven in your office? What would you do? Why won't we put the oven inside the mask? So what do we need for oven? We need heating element. I'm coming to my engineer and researcher and I'm saying to him, let's evaluate all the carbon fibers that we have in order to find the most suitable one. So these are the carbon fibers and it's sold by insulating fabric. Putting the oven inside the mask would mean that I will need to heat it up with something that everybody has. What do you have in your possession and you charge it with? Mobile phones. So we adhere to the electricity of this mask with the specification of our mobile telephone charger. Simple, right? Whether it's USB or micro USB, and you just plug it in, it's two amps, five volts, and that's it. When you're using the mask and you put it again on your face, there is an unpleasant smell. This is the smell of our breath. Now, once you bake it with our electrical charger, the smell vanishes. So we kill the germs, we kill the virus, and we had a beneficial factor, which is new mask without any smell. We are aiming at medical crew. People that are in need of the mask, which is of high quality, and they need to reuse it again and again. The health organization reported that 15 minutes at 56 degrees would be more than sufficient. But we aim at 65 degrees to 70 degrees C for half an hour, just to be on the safe side. So once you plug it in, you wait half an hour, the temperature will rise up to 70 degrees. This would totally eliminate the virus and you can unhook it and reuse it.